here with Chief Carswell. He is a uh, fire chief at the Albany Fire Department, correct? That's correct. All right, and you're here to talk to us today. I know we've been doing a lot of 9-11 themed things, of course, because Sunday is the 10th anniversary, uh, anniversary of the September 11th attacks, and you guys have something special that you're also doing to commemorate the attacks. Yeah, we wanted to remember, obviously, the firefighters who lost their lives on 9-11. Mm -hmm. So in front of the, the main fire station, we put out 343 crosses mm -hmm. that represents each uh, firefighter who lost their lives on 9-11. In addition, we thought we'd put a larger cross to try to uh, bring attention to the other firefighters who have lost their lives. Uh, it averages almost 100 a year, mm -hmm. firefighters who lose their lives in the line of duty. It's been almost 1,000 since 9-11, so wow. we didn't want to leave them out. So you said average firefighter deaths in the line of duty is 100 a year? It averaged right at 100 a year. Uh, That's like one every three or four days. That's correct. Wow. That's correct. And it happens in small numbers, you know, in small town USA where one firefighter loses their life and it doesn't get the media attention as obviously the 343 do. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to bring attention to the fact it is a dangerous job yeah. and firefighters lose their lives every couple of days so doing their duty. Where, who kind of thought of the concept of crosses? Well, actually, it's just one of those things that has been passed down over the years. It's not, we're not the first one to do it, okay. uh, but we actually thought it made a tremendous impact on people who, who rode by the station, mm -hmm. so we decided to do the crosses. The, the uh, employees made the crosses themselves, so it's something they wanted to give back to, uh, obviously, so the, the members. So fire the firemen, fire personnel made the crosses? That's correct. Oh, wow. What are they made of? Just out of curiosity. They're just made out of wood. Oh, okay. So they're sort of just wooden, probably just, white or? They're white. They're white, painted white. Okay, so how, there's 343 crosses, you said, representing the 343 lives of the firemen that were lost in 9-11. That's got to be pretty like gripping to see the crosses yeah. in mass. Yeah, we, and we've had some positive feedback. It gets people's attention. Yeah. Obviously, we sit at the corner of Roosevelt and Jackson, mm -hmm. and so people coming down uh, uh, Jackson Street, that's one of the first things they see. The, so they have they been coming in and like saying stuff, coming into the fire station, or have they been uh, kind of calling like those, wow, you know? Well, we've actually had What's some calls. We've actually had some calls, and of course, the, the biggest thing, if you're standing out front, you can see people will, it'll catch their attention, they'll slow down. Uh -huh. That they can absorb it all and so they'll go by. So you can tell that they're, yeah. they're paying attention to right. it. It's definitely making an impact. What, well, what else do, is the fire station doing to sort of keep uh, the memory alive of the, the men and firemen who lost, fire people that lost their lives in, on 9-11? Well, obviously we did the uh, crosses mm -hmm. out front. Uh, the Exchange Club, we actually moved our Firefighter of the Year Award. We usually do it in October during mm -hmm. Fire Prevention Week and the Exchange Club awards that award. Mm -hmm. And they moved it forward a month so we could coincide with 9-11. So we'll be recognizing our firefighter of the year today at lunchtime. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to participate in the field of flags at the mall Saturday. So okay. uh, it's all about trying to remember, you know, mm -hmm. uh, people tend to forget yeah. the importance or the uh, uh, the emotional part of 9-11 after mm -hmm. 10 years. We want to bring that back, obviously. Definitely. Well, how do you feel about the uh, the 10th anniversary coming up. How does it make you feel? Well, actually, and one of the things that uh, it's really hard to, to think back and not think about all the, the firefighters, their families, and how much it impacted the world mm -hmm. for that much. And as we watched those events unfold that day, obviously most people were looking at the fire, the smoke, all those things. We were thinking about where the firefighters would be, yeah. uh, reflecting about if it happened in Albany, what would we have done differently? And we wouldn't have done much differently. Mm -hmm. The bottom line is the strategy would have been the same, trying to get the people out. Yeah. And so our employees would have been in a similar situation as their employees. And so when the towers fell, we knew where the firefighters were going to be. We knew there was going to be a lot of loss. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's actually one of those things that uh, brings the impact of what we do every day. Right. And, you know, it takes a special kind of person to run toward the danger, to run toward the fire, to run toward the destruction, you know, where most of us wouldn't want to be anywhere near something that we knew was burning and could potentially kill us, you know, so that just takes a certain kind of person to actually be that brave to go in there and do that despite the fact that you could lose your life. Every time you guys fight a fire, you could, you could lose your life. So definitely, thank you so much. Thank Chief you. Carswell of the Albany Fire Department, 343 flags in front of the firehouse. Go ahead and check them out. What would uh, give them the street? So it's they 320 North Jackson. It's the corner of Roosevelt and Jackson. Okay, 320 North Jackson, right on the corner of Roosevelt, Roosevelt and Jackson. Go check out the crosses that are there. It's a pretty uh, stirring uh, display, 